Now, once Peter is out in the meadow, he meets his friend, the bird. And the bird is very excited, very happy to see Peter. It's a gorgeous day. The bird's sitting high up in a tree. Now, in Prokofiev's music, the flute plays the part of the bird. The flute is a member of the woodwind section, can play very fast, very high, sounds just like a bird. So let's hear a little bit more about the flute from our principal flutist at the Springfield Symphony Orchestra, Laurie Aikens. Hello, I'm Laurie Aikens, principal flutist of the Springfield Symphony, and I would like to share six points with you about the flute. The first point, number one, is silver and gold. My instrument is made of silver and gold. Flutes can be made of just silver, just gold. Many materials can make up a flute. It could be plastic, it could be crystal, it could be wood. But many times you will see a silver and gold flute. Number two, high, as in high notes. My instrument, the flute, plays very high tones. It's one of the highest sounding in the orchestra and it is the highest sounding woodwind instrument that you will hear in Peter and the Wolf. My tones go very high. Number three is the lip plate. My instrument has a lip plate that I blow across with my lips to produce a sound. This, the air hits the outer edge of the hole and then the rest of the air goes into the instrument and it makes a vibrating, it sets into um, motion, a nice vibration, which produces the sound that you hear coming out of the instrument. Number four is transverse. My instrument is the only wind instrument that is held out to the side. So this, this is problematic if I want to see what I'm doing because I can't watch myself unless I use a mirror. Other instruments have the luxury of being able to see their fingers, I can't see, and I have to also balance out to the side. So it is transversely held. Number five, keys. This instrument has a lot of keys, like many other woodwind instruments. And we place our fingers on the keys, and the combination of fingerings produces different notes that you will hear on the instrument too. Number six is shimmer. That's a good word to use to describe the sound that the flute makes. It, sometimes people will say, it sounds like a very shimmery or silky sound. Um, so I think that, in, especially in Peter and the Wolf, you can hear that there is a shimmer sounding when I play the flute. I play a lot of high tones. I use a lot of key action on this instrument and the shimmer sound will come through, I think. In my excerpt, the flute represents the bird in the Peter and the Wolf story. And just before I start to play, written in my music, are the words on the branch. And chirp, the, there was a bird that chirps gaily. So this is a very happy bird. And I picture this bird as just flitting around, moving from tree to tree and and just singing a beautiful little chirpy song. So flutes are very capable of making a nice chirping sound. So I think if you listen to the excerpt, you'll notice that you hear a lot of fast flying around and chirpy sounds. Suddenly, a bird appeared and playfully circled around Peter's head. Peter and the bird were old friends. This is great up here. Hey. What are you hiding behind those branches? 
The bird showed Peter the reason for all the excitement. Her nest filled with six brand new eggs. <laughs>